Hi, what's up Lego gang? Nicole here, back at it again for another video. I have always wanted to try these like Lego cases. I have a couple of them for minifigures, but I've wanted to try something for like an actual set. I just, I don't like dusting. It's my least favorite thing. I don't do it. And so by the time I get around to dusting, it's basically become part of the brick and I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. So I wanted to try out a case for one of my favorite sets that came out this year. This is the McLaren MP44. And so I found this case from Wicked Brick and it is a limited edition. I believe, unfortunately, it's sold out now, but don't leave this video because they have other cases for this exact set still available. So you can pick that up. We're going to see if it lives up to my expectations, because frankly, my expectations are pretty high. I want a very good looking case for this. I wanna make sure that the sun doesn't yellow this. I want this to receive like an amazing spa experience <laughs> and I want it to look really good on my shelf and I don't wanna dust it ever. I don't want a single speckle of dust to ever land on this set. But before we get started, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I would love to have you around for all of my shenanigans. I hope that I can entertain you endlessly if you choose to join me on this YouTube -y ride. Yeah, let's get into it. Let's open it. So here it is. I love the packaging. I always love it when a company has like custom tape. It just, it says to me, hey, I care about your experience and I do care about it. Like this, this isn't for them. This is for me. So I have my knife and we're going to open this up. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to build this live on the camera. Like a lot of people have amazing build faces when they do things. I notice that every time I build something, I have like 25 chins. It's not very aesthetic. Okay, how do I get in here? I trusted me with a knife. When we open the box, it says that there are cubes and screws. What are cubes? I know what screws are, but I don't know cubes. Before time began, there was the cube. We know not where it comes from, only that it holds the power to create worlds and fill them with life. We have our, I'm assuming this is the case. Let's see what these cubes and screws are all about. I've never seen boxes so tiny in my life. What? Why? <laughs> what did you do today? I played with tiny little boxes. Let's see what these tiny little screws are all about. Ooh, they are really tiny and they're cute. They actually aren't kidding. These really are cubes. Wow. I don't know what to expect, honestly. I feel like, you know, I'm going to tell you if I don't like it. And I'm definitely for sure going to tell you if I do like it. For the sake of my sanity, I hope this is as good as I think it's going to be. I don't know where this came from. I think it came from somewhere in Europe and the packaging is phenomenal. If it has survived crossing the pond, then we're already off to a good start. Like there's nothing worse than receiving something and it like, it's not packaged well. To say this is packaged extremely well. There's a little, whoop, there's a little plastic bag that had this piece. Oh my gosh, I got 350 out of 350. This is a limited edition case and they were only making 350 of them. And I got the last one. We've got the side panels. And I've never done this before. So we're gonna see how this goes for me. Now I don't know if there are any instructions anywhere. There are no instructions, but I think I can figure this out. Okay, I'm gonna need instructions. I need a computer and my sanity immediately. One minute. So here's how you get the instructions. You're gonna go on the website and they actually have this little tab that says assembly instructions and then it links you to this YouTube and it tells you everything you need to do. So kind of worked out because I needed a tool. You need a flathead screwdriver. You need a flathead screwdriver to do this. This is going to be the most complicated thing I think I have done in the past month. I just, I'm not good at this stuff. So if I can do this, then that means that you can do this. From the looks of it, you get this, you get the bottom of the case. And there seems to be these little magnet things that are around it. So I think it just like... Oh, it clicks in. I'm assuming if I just rough estimate how this goes, I'm assuming that these are going to be the sides and then this is going to be like the front and then this is going to be the top and then the back is over here. So I think now that I've mapped it out, I think that I can do this. Like this protective film on this that I need to peel off. No! 
okay. I hope this is entertaining for you guys. We're gonna do the side panels first. <laughs> are gonna hold the oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself some grace because I've never done this before. Right? I truly wanna be honest with you guys. The instructions on the video are very clear. All right, okay, so we have the front panels on. And let's attach it to the base here. Oh, that looks good. This is looking very good. All right, now it's time to do the back panel, which this is what I'm most excited for, and this is why I'm so happy I have this. Oh God, this is so sick. This, this is the limited edition case. This is what made the case special, but it has like all of these newspaper articles from Senna winning and it's just so beautifully detailed. Like frankly, I think that this is gonna be the perfect place for this set to live in. I'll attach the back panel to the rest of this. I'm so blown away that we even have a Senna set, but like this case just makes it so much better. Okay, so I fully, we're gonna shut, shut it down. Okay, I fully assembled this case, fully assembled it. It looks incredible, everything, all the words are in the right way. Now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that this is going to house my set just like, just like this. Wow. And I really, okay, so I don't know if you guys can really see this, but the base of this is this like matte gray. It almost looks like a racetrack. It looks insane. Like this looks amazing. Okay, now let me see where I can put Senna. I think I can put them like right here maybe i'll put them like right behind here so senna can go right there wow this is gonna look so good okay and then oh oh i know i forgot to put my microphone back on i'm so the the audio in this video is gonna be horrendous and it is my direct apology look at this so I'm going to show you a closer look to assembling it. So here we have, this is number 350 out of 350 for exclusive cases. So that's going to go right in there. And then the car is going to sit right there in that indent. A couple studs here for the Senna minifig. And I think he should just kind of like click right in like that. Then the case. This is what the fully assembled case looks like. My house phone's ringing. <laughs> Can't make this up. Don't come at me. The cable internet package came with a phone. It's not my fault that it rings, okay? Hey, I am so excited about this. This looks incredible. I love the way the articles look in the background. It was like the little indents in the base for the car stand and the studs for the minifig. This actually looks like a collector's item now. Highly recommend Wicked Brick. Like 10 out of 10 recommend. This is like such good quality too. And I was really scared of assembling this, but it wasn't bad at all. It actually was pretty enjoyable. Unfortunately, you cannot get this particular case with this background, but they have one that's like a checkered flag and then they have just a plain case, but they do have a couple different options for this model and they have a bunch of other cases. So now I wanna try all their cases. Am I just gonna be a case queen? I think I'm just gonna be a case queen from here on out, but Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think about this case and if you'd like to see me do another one. And I will see you guys for the next one. Bye.